still 021 and you see how it just has the normal regular two bolt the two nut design the tensioner in the front not in the side but in the front that's important you have to have it in the front if you want to do this i want to put an easy adjust cover on this so what you'll need is the cover i'll put a kit in the description because they do make the kits this is your uh let your left stud it's just a uh the stud with the uh normal screw head on here you don't even need the guide rail and your sprocket So what you need to do is take your two bar nuts, jam nut them on here, and turn turn it towards the clutch to unscrew it. Just regular threads. And then you can pull out your tensioner, which is this piece right here. Just slides right out. Put your rail in. Kind of tough. I'm gonna have to tap it in. Okay, so then you got your rail all the way in, right there. And now you want to put your stud in, your left stud. Just like that. All right, then take your bar. I'm I run the Oregon Power Sharp bar, so I don't have to sharpen it by hand. Just put that piece on, and then you take this and you line it with the two holes. Some dirt in the hole. And then you want your screw for this and put it on the bar and tighten it down. One of these holes don't have threads in it, so this will only go in on the one hole. Now that that's on, you can just put it right on your stud. You see it fits on there. Now you want to put it all the way back. This is the power sharp chain. You can tell by the teeth. Put it on the back sprocket or whichever way you want to put it on first. It doesn't really matter. Make sure your teeth are facing that direction because it cuts, pull, pulls it in that way. I like to tighten it up just a little bit so it's so they're like a line. And you take your quick adjust cover, you wanna flip your, I don't know what you would call that, like a little, like, a, it's not really like a ratchet, more of just a clutch. Just tighten it down, not all the way, just keep it loose. And then you adjust that to get your desired tension. I got a little bit looser. You want about a quarter inch play at the bottom. And you just tighten it down the rest of the way. So that cover didn't pop in all the way there. The cover didn't want to pop in. Chain breaks off. Quarter inch play. 
tighten it down. And there you go. And if you look, sorry about that vibration. You can still pull the chain by hand. It'll loosen up when you start the saw and run it. But that's how you get rid of your regular steel cover with the two bar nuts. And you get rid of your tensioner and the stud. But what you need is the, a three, three quarter wrench. And just your tool that comes with the saw to make this and your bar and chain. I'll, like I said, I'll put the link in the description for that cover. As you tell that cover been used, I took it off the 180 just to show you guys. And I'll put a link in the description for this bar as well. If you want to look at this bar. But that's all you need to know to change your ordinary steel cover and put an easy adjust cover on there.